Am I live? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Can you hear me and see me? If you could let me know, because I have no idea what I'm doing here, guys. This is my first live stream. And if you're watching the recording of this, it was live. So <laughs> there's going to be a lot of going back and forth between chat and what I'm about to show you. So yes, yes, Andrea, yay! All right. Is the sound okay? Because I'm using my uh, big Yeti, the blue Yeti. All right. So who have we got here? So we have Zandra. I know I saw Carol. The chat. Oh, my God. It's so fast. <laughs> you guys, give me a break. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy, Laura. Hi, Laura. Gail. Zandra. Piccolo? Piccola. Piccola. Sorry. Veronica, Kathy. Ah, okay, guys. Hi, everyone, because I can't see all the names. I know that some of you have uh, walked in earlier. Carol, April, Sherry. Okay. See, Carol Boudreau. That's CB, right? Yes. Hi, CB. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm a little nervous. I had to bring my computer. Coming in. Is there a way for me to know how? Oh, yeah, 65 people. Cool. Awesome. My love from Greece. Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> That's far and late. How late is it in Greece? Because I know that um, Mona, my friend Mona from uh, Sweden, said that it was 1 30 for her. So it must be super late. Kelowna, BC. All right, so um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and be quick because I have one of my friends, um, Heather Crafter, who is uh, streaming live at nine o'clock. So I kind of don't want to run into her time. So we've got an hour and a half uh, to do and show you all that I want to show you. Columbus, Ohio. Hi, Catherine. Texas. Bianca. Diana. Lori. Stacy. Okay, <laughs> um, blanket hi to everyone. All right, so as you know, I went to the Maryland Art Retreat two weekends ago, and it was a blast, and I want to thank Patty, to, um, Patty, who organized this so beautifully. It was such an amazing experience for me. Um, I did teach a class. Hi, Linda. Hi, Kim. Um, and... Two other teachers, no, three actually. So Patty was teaching a class and um, Kathy and uh, Gayla were were teaching a jointly another class. So I'm gonna show you what I did uh, during the classes. Uh, Angela, Carol, my gosh, so many of you, you're 78, all right. So Patty was uh, teaching um, watercolor abstract on UPO and I have a hard time with watercolor on Yupo, big time. I think it's because I'm too detail oriented and I love the way Patty does her things because she lays out her colors and she doesn't mess with them too much. And so she lets them walk into each other and that's probably something I didn't do right. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna show you my first piece that I did. Um, here it is. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna put the camera overhead uh, you don't want to see my face. Oh, it's mid 2.30 after midnight in Greece. But CC, do not forget Greece summer. Oh, yeah, lots of light, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, close your eyes because it's going to get a little bit nauseous. I'm going to hook up the this camera over here. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can without making you too dizzy. All right, hold on. Took me a while to figure this one out, but oh boy. <laughs> now I know what Patty was saying. It's reversed. Ah! <laughs> uh, Zandra, I uh, went to check up on, um, what's it called, Manicam to see if I could get like 
you know, the software so that I could stream with multiple cameras, but uh, it seems you have to pay. <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, so uh, as I was saying, this is the uh, piece that I did during Patty, Patty's class. So this is watercolor on Yupo. And it's pretty cool because she had us play with uh, gauze as well, or I'm not sure if this is gauze or cheesecloth something. Hi, Jan. Hi, oh, Jan. <laughs> um, and forgive me if I've forgotten some names from uh, the retreat. I'm really bad with names, but I know, Jan, who you are. Uh, yes, I can leave the link. What is her channel? Okay, so uh, Heather, uh, it's Craft Shack, actually, right, Heather? The name of your channel? I do believe it's Craft Shack, K-R-A-A-F-T-S-H-A-A-K. Oh, click my icon, she says. All right, so <laughs> this is so confusing because I have to watch what I'm doing and read the chat at the same time. I don't know how you guys do it, uh, but we're 90, we're 100 people here, so I can't keep up with the chat. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> if you have a question, just put it all in caps, I guess. It'll be easier for me to do so. Hi, Peg. Kimberly, Dela. I'm probably butchering some names to do apologize for that. Um, so the watercolor that I did actually during the class, there's very little left of it <laughs> just because I kind of played with Patty's stencil afterwards because, of course, I wanted to do my cityscape. And Randy, uh, I don't think that Teresa and Randy are here, but Randy showed me some of his artwork, and he just does a lot of these uh, water like foamy water and when I lifted the gauze because this is just paint the gauze is off that's the imprint that was left oh cc beautiful thank you thank you Carissa uh Risa. I know I'm not pronouncing this right sorry hi Ella um anyways I it reminded me of a tsunami <laughs> so I asked Randy how he did his foamy thing and I just treated it as a big wave. So there's a tsunami coming into the city the other way, the other way, see, the other way. Gosh, this is backward. It's really annoying. But, uh, and then of course I use patty stencils to uh, remove some of the, um, the watercolor and this is what was left. I like it. It was fun. It was a really fun class. She did, I mean, Patty does her um, abstract so beautifully. And I, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do it. This is the second piece I did. I probably put in every single color that I had on my table. <laughs> and I haven't worked on this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's kind of fun. So this was Patty's class. A very fun class. I'm running out of space. Ah! Okay. So the next day. Um, is it backwards? No. The next day, Kathy and Gala did a beautiful class on pewter, uh, pewter tooling. Um, for some reason, mine is all scuffed up and I messed up. Um, I had originally put, um, this looks like a hummingbird. Uh, Xandra, this looks like a hummingbird. Oh, the piece on you, Paul, probably, that you're referring to? Uh, it looks cool. Okay. Um, so this is a piece of pewter that we embossed. And, of course, they gave us a whole bunch of uh, templates to follow. And, of course, I didn't follow anything because I'm dumb, dumb. So I decided to complicate my life <laughs> and do my own artwork. And then I had put one of, um, Zandra had given me some gold foil, but it was rose gold foil. And I was going to put that in the background, but um, it didn't look right. It was too reflective. And so I decided to uh, put, uh, this was an old, an old painting I didn't like. Here's the, the leftover. I cut a piece in the middle. I put it behind and uh, I think it, it fits. But when I removed it, because this was all stuck to the board. And when I removed it, I lost so much that I had to cut the beautiful border that I had. But uh, anyways, this uh, it was a fun class. And um, 
Kathy and Gayla had given us so many beautiful precious stones to play with and, and I have them all. So um, I'm looking forward to playing more with this pewter. I still have a little piece left, but this was great fun. The class was amazing. These girls were way beyond any expectations. Hi, Gayla, you're here. I missed you. <laughs> um, yeah, it didn't, it didn't turn too bad, huh? Uh, I have to paint the black around here and uh, cut some of the pieces because, you know, anyways, but I'm very happy with my little piece. Um, CB. Yes, CB. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy and Gayla and Patty. And yeah, these girls were amazing. Okay. Um, then Friday I was teaching. So. Where did I put my artwork? Oh, it's in my other book. I'll go get it in a bit. Um, I wanted to show you because there were so many freebies. Every time I'd come back to my place, um, there were more stuff put on my table. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Bonjour, Gayla. Gayla, you speak French now? Or you write French? Um, so... Forgive me, I don't know, I don't remember ever like who gave what. Uh, it was my first year and it was quite overwhelming. But um, I got a whole bunch of gorgeous napkins. I love this one. They there are big ships and small ships, but the best ship of all is friendship. Ain't that the truth? Uh, hi everyone. I've I've had a bad connection, so I can't say oh <laughs> poor Gala. Um, I got this gorgeous crab, lobster crab, crab. Look at these, huh? I love, um, <laughs> I know somebody else who loves, uh, napkins. Heather loves napkins. Look at that, Heather. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. So I'm not sure who gave us that. Again, you know, every time I'd come back to my seat, there was more, stuff being put next to me and I'm very grateful for all the goodies that I got um uh yeah many napkins for sure yep I got this beautiful tag and let me see that's from Tammy Ward and she put some beads in it cute thank you Tammy this is from Tamari. Oh, yeah, and Tamari gave us these cards, I believe, right, Tamari? Uh, I'm not sure if she's there. Um, but she did this beautiful tag. It's all embossed and colored. I love that. It reminds me of um, appliques or suede appliques. Oh, hi. Uh, I, hold on. I know. Jean. Jean, right? Musical Scrappers Jean, right? Yes. <laughs> got it. Hi, Jean. <laughs> Um, and so we've got a couple of cards. You've probably seen all this from Z, but sorry about that. <laughs> it's a replay of what Zandra said in her last um, stream, but I do have other people that probably were not on Zandra's stream. So blanket, hello. <laughs> um, and someone dotted, okay, so I have to show you this. This is too cool. So I don't know if you're seeing this, but I got this, uh, somebody made it and it's obviously my initials and I was like trying to figure out if there was another C I could steal <laughs> so I could have CC. But Friday I went to my friend Diane here and we made this because Diane is into dots too. Isn't that cool? This is a rock. So I think I'm going to have both of them standing next to each other. I'll figure something out, but isn't that fun? <laughs> a rock. Yes, CB, a rock. Like you should see, um, there's a whole bunch. If you go on Instagram and uh, you search for uh, dotted rocks, I know that there's a couple of big names out there and they do so many of these. Uh, they do dishes, they do a whole bunch of stuff. It's pretty fun. Um, I bought this rock in Florida and we painted it 
black. And then uh, we did this. Quite fun. Uh, speaking of CB, CB is a wonderful artist. And she made us choose between a whole bunch of them. We had to choose two of her artist trading cards. But look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Hold on. Yeah, because you're getting the background. Ah, okay, hold on. The other way. There we go. Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. I'm keeping them in the sleeves because I don't want to dirty that. And here's the other one that I picked. So pretty and so dainty. This one has little applique flowers uh, the other way. Oh my gosh, I know what Patty means. This is annoying. Everything is reversed. It won't focus. Come on. Yeah. But it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yes, I need many cam, Jean. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I might get it. If I if I like streaming, which I probably will. I kind of like that. I wish I were um, better at reading comments. I need someone next to me. Can you all move here? <laughs> um, this is a magnet, I guess. Uh, it says Marilyn Art Weekend. I don't know who gave us that. I'm not sure if it was part of the goodie bag that we all got. Yeah, it takes practice. Yep. Um, and Shannon Green, maker of stuff. You all know Shannon Green. I think this was included in our goodie bag that we got at the beginning because I know Patty got some stuff from Shannon. Uh, but these are all kinds of vinyl. I guess she works with this type of uh, vinyl and so we have a whole pack of this and we've got a little booklet here with all kinds of papers in them quite cute so that's from Shannon things this yeah I know um, Catherine um, it's 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 not reverse for you it's only reverse for me it's just annoying when I want to show you something. Uh, if I remember correctly, unless or about a month from now, it's your birthday. It would be nice to have a little, a live chat so we can send to you our wishes. <laughs> yeah, in a month, it's my birthday. Actually, it's almost a month, day for day. Uh, this one is from Jan Terry. She made us a cute little ATC. Friends become our chosen family. I love the friends theme, by the way. Um, it is so true. Yeah. Um, this one is from Charlene. Believe in yourself. Thank you so much, Charlene. These are all so pretty. This one is from Paint and Paper Studio. So, oh, that's from Zandra. <laughs> that's from Zandra. How come it's not a mermaid theme? <laughs> it's so pretty. And that's her business card. So if you want to check Sandra out, that's, uh, that's her YouTube name. Oh, Sandra, that's that was your phone number. I'm sorry. Ah, was that supposed to be public? I'm so sorry. Sorry, Sandra. No worries. Okay. Phew. Thank you. I'll get the swing of this one there. <laughs> um, this is so cute. All I want to do is drink coffee and make pretty things. And this is from Happy Diane. Happy Die, I think, as everyone refers her to or as. And this is from Tammy Ward as well. Beautiful sea theme, gorgeous, ah, love it. Now, someone gave us that and I don't. You know, wherever I was going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that looks more like you. This, yeah, but it's it's Tammy's. <laughs> um, and this too, I don't know who gave us that. Charlene? Oh, Charlene gave us this? Cool. Thank you, Charlene. Uh, this one, I don't know either. 
it's pretty. So thank you. <laughs> Patty with Happy Diane. Patty did this? Or Patty the... Okay, I'm confused. Whoever it is, thank you. <laughs> um, this, I don't know either, but this, this is definitely Patty stencil. Hi, Kimberly. Uh, beautiful bookmark. But there's no name, so. I know, Heather, I know. I was spoiled. There's so many beautiful gifts. Uh, this goes with the other stuff. Now, I have... Uh, Amalia, Amalia, the label fell off. This or this? <laughs> Gee, these people who don't sign their artwork. I know, right? <laughs> um, and then I have this DVD case, and it's filled with awesome pens, because we all need pens. And these look fine tip. Uh, not so fine, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are medium tips. Oh. The multicolor bookmark is... And the magic... Oh, the magic wand! That's Amalia? So this. Cool! Yay! And the butterfly is from the patty that came with Happy Diane. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm... I'm I'm glad that the chat is also recorded because um, I'll be able to go back and identify everyone. Je suis une nouvelle fan. J'adore ton channel. Merci, Claudie. Um, hi, Debbie. So we've got a mixing palette in here. Oh, hold on. This is from Lori. Is that it, Lori? Lori. Cool. Oh, I like that texture. This is really nice. And then some tickets. Look at this giant card. Isn't that cool? And then some frames, some um, slide frames. Cool stuff. I love these DVD cases. I have a few of them. You can store like ongoing projects in there. Um, what else? Okay, so then I have this bag. Oh, this is from Joan, I think, because I recognize the patch. That ATC from Lori is Shannon Green Fused Vinyl. Oh, this? The, the one that's inside? Ah. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Thank you for that. Um... So this is a packet that we got from Joan. So we have a sticker, uh, this beautiful embellishment, Sea Life's Beauty. Ah, sea Life's Beauty, S-E-A, get it? Ah, clever. And I think she sewed this patch. Uh, this is pretty cool. I love this. The charm. I gave you the metal. Oh, really? So how did it find its way? <laughs> you know, everything is mixed up. <laughs> Thank you, Z. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is a card from, uh, yeah, Joan and Paul. So all of these are from Joan. Yeah, I think her son made the patch. Oh, okay. I thought it was Joan who did that. But regardless, this is pretty cool. So thank you, Joan and Paul. Um... And Elaine, <laughs> Elaine had brought a lot of stuff for us to pick from. There was stuff in the hallway. Um, I don't know where she got it. It's I, There was like tiles and pieces of wood and all kinds of stuff. But she gave us each this huge book. I mean, this is amazing. She put it all together from scratch. And there's all kinds of stuff. There's, oops, can you see that? Little pockets with paper. I mean, this thing is amazing. Uh, another envelope. There's some wallpaper in here. I was able to keep control. Okay. <laughs> um, look at this. How gorgeous. So there's even coloring pages. Wow. I mean, seriously. And she brought also um, big rolls of... Um, like blueprints. 
look at this. I mean, there's labels, maps. Like she put it all together. It must have taken her ages to do this. Oh, I love this. But this would be an amazing mixed media dress. Oh, ha, ha, ha. another napkin. Ha, ha. Uh, this will be a, an amazing mixed media journal. I know I'm, I'm some few, some of you are drooling right now. There's even like drywall mesh, I believe. This stuff. Um, this is very thin. Oh my gosh. Anyways, thank you so much, Elaine, for going through all this trouble to put this beautiful book together. Yeah, drooling. <laughs> Drooling, 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 Carol. I know. We were spoiled. It was such a fun event. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, I have. Oh, and I've got um, more of St Patty's stencils. So I'm going to play with those in the coming weeks. Um, I had this big one. So now I, I have the small one. I have uh, the big one of this. I got the small one. This is one that's new to me. Um, I can't wait to play with that. Oh, look at this one. Buildings, buildings. I see buildings everywhere. This one, ah, right. I know there's a glare. Sorry about that. I got this one, that one, this, which is a mask. Yeah, those stencils. I know, I know, Heather. Patty stencils are the best. I mean, I have gotten rid of, I brought all my stencils at the retreat so that people can take them because I wasn't using most of them. The only ones I've kept here are Patty's, uh, some of the Magenta and Donna Downey and the rest. Eh. Does Patty have a YouTube channel? Of course. Um, what's Patty's YouTube channel? Yeah, Zandra, if you could type it, because I'm, is it uh, some other name, right? Yeah, Inky Obsessions. Yes. This one, this is the stencil that I used on um, the Yupo piece of art that I did. <laughs> Sorry, everything's reversed. And oh, this one. <sighs> I'll be playing with all of that very soon. I'm so excited. And... There was a bag. I have other gifts, but they're bigger, so I couldn't bring them on the table. I'll go get them in a minute. In a minute. So this was the goodie bag that uh, we got, we all got, and then inside there was another stencil. I love that one. Um, some core samples, which I have used in my uh, not my last video that I published this morning, but the uh, the one on Monday. I use this one. Very happy colors. And I like core um, uh, watercolors. I really do. They're very creamy. Is magenta still in business? Uh, last time I checked, I couldn't do, I couldn't get on their, um, their online ordering. So, and I haven't spoken to the owner in like a year, so I have no clue. I can check that out and let you know in a future uh, video. This one I haven't swatched, so I'm going to swatch that later because I'm very curious. Uh, what else was in there? I know there must have been other stuff in there that got like put into other places, but uh, we've got a stamp, like a foamy stamp of a flower. Another stencil. Is this one of Joan's stencils? Does anybody know? Trying to read some of the chats. I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention too much. Thank you. Okay. I'm mumbling to myself. You don't have to answer. <laughs> um, and then this uh, pencil case, I guess. Yes, it's Joan Stencil. Yes. So this one, right? Uh, Joan makes stencils too. So I don't know if, I don't know her website though. Um, so there's a pencil case and this one too. I love that yellow so much. So this was all in the bag that, um, Patty gave us when we got there. She doesn't have one. 
how can we, does she do her stencils for like, for just for friends or does she sell them? So that was all in the bag. So let me get this out of the way. Um, discuss amongst yourself. I have to go get some other stuff. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, it's right behind me. Dum dum. I got it. Ah. She doesn't sell them. Oh, that's too bad. She should. And Kathy. And yeah. oh, hold on. My friend Kathy gave me um, cotton paper. Um, actually, this is okay. So Kathy gave me the black one. Whoops, sorry, I just shook the camera. I do apologize for that. Okay, bye, Heather. See you in a bit. I, I hope to catch your uh, live stream tonight. Um, so this is cotton paper and she just um, messaged me this morning saying that this is actually Stonehenge. Do more CC. All right, I'll try. I'll try, Heather. <laughs> uh, but this is beautiful paper and I tested it just to see how it would react. And here's the, there's quite a bit of reflection on these um, watercolors. I really wanted to test them out. So I just did like a little thingy. And I love the paper. So she gave me big sheets, smaller sheets. Very excited. And then Jan, I think, gave me the B paper, B-E-E. -E. I never heard of it. Um, and she said she got it on Amazon because <laughs> everything's on Amazon. What brand watercolor is that? Amalia, it is. I will show you. I will try and reach without. Oh, boy. Hold on. <laughs> I got to go behind my setup. <laughs> um, I do believe most of them are uh, Daniel Smith. So, okay, let's see. So this one here. Um, this one here is, it's not kyanite, no, I can't remember, is this, yes, so this was the big surprise, so this is, I'll show you what it looks like on white, so this is what it looks like, and when you put it on black, it looks like this, isn't that amazing? Lindsay, the frugal crafter uses and suggests bee paper all the time. Okay, well, I quite like it. I was very surprised. Um, and then this one here is the Duo Cobble Blue, but it looks, anyways, here, because on camera it looks different, but it looks more green. It's actually blue and gold, so I guess because of the gold, it will reflect uh, green. And this is Patty's Rose Gold, and the rest is white. So that's what it is. Black paper always shows the iridescent color. Yes. Yes, but it's so surprising that it goes from this to this purple blue. I mean, it's more blue than, than purple. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the B paper, and I did a little sample. Like, look at this. It really absorbs the, the watercolor super well. It's not focusing on it. I have to stop moving so it will focus. And it won't. <laughs> Anyways, you get the gist. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Riza. I know I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, but let's call you Riza for tonight. Hi, from Anita in Hawaii. Oh, hi, Sherry. 
Yes, it's B. No, the black paper is not B. Uh, the black paper is Stonehenge, 100% uh, cotton, and the white paper is B, B paper. And I like it. And as soon as I'm done, all the watercolor paper that I restocked on, <laughs> I'm going to go and purchase it. Now, um, I have this pouch, which has a lot of goodies in it. Um, my beautiful friend Kathy gave me this gorgeous book. Check this out. Now, it, this doesn't make you drool. Look at these papers, handmade thick paper. Oh my gosh. Like seriously, I don't even want to art in it. <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous. The cover is amazing. <sighs> Thank you so much, my friend. And I can't remember who gave me this. Oh, that's Sandra. No, I think it's Sandra. This is the in and out pages. It's so cool. See, it's the same as my um, binding system. So you use the pages and then you can put them back or there's a dotted line so you can actually, it's perforated. You can actually um, pull it apart so that you get rid of all these holes if you want to give it away or frame it. Well, this is pretty cool, so I can't wait to test that out. Um, so CC art in it. Thank you, Catherine. Um, I was blessed finally to have an original. Pat okay, so um, remember when I told you that Patty is amazing? <laughs> uh, watercolor on Yupo, abstract watercolor on Yupo. Check this out. She gave me one of her pieces. Look at this. And she frames them on uh, cradle boards. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Ugh. And she's got some of her famous rose gold on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this will go, this will be displayed on my walls for sure. How does she do it? Uh, are you talking about this? Yes, it's a beautiful gift, I agree. Patty rocks the UPO and the rose gold. <laughs> uh, and then my other beautiful friend Gayla gave me this gorgeous. Um, no, that's Kathy. Oh, that's Kathy. Kathy, I thought it was Gayla who made this. This beautiful uh, bookmark. Very elegant. So I put it in my uh, the book I'm reading right now. Alice in Wonderland. Isn't that cute? Magic is something you make, indeed. And there's a little, little key. Thank you so much. <sighs> and I received another amazing gift. They're all amazing, by the way. Yes, Patty is awesome. Um, okay, before I show you what it is, I need to remind myself. Good Shepherd. Okay, so these are gloves, fingerless gloves. Have you ever tried it? Your work would look great on cradle board. No, I've never put anything on cradle boards. Uh, I might one day. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I'm going to art with these on in the winter time because my hands really get cold in here in the winter time. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And there's a story behind this. Um, it comes from this place, I believe, Good Shepherd Dog Coats. Oh, it's not going to want to focus. Hold on. Ah, and I have it on autofocus. I do apologize. Uh, it's goodshepherddogcoats.com. Um, and Donna, this is, um, it comes from Donna and she wrote me a lovely card. <laughs> she says, so this is the explanation for the glove. She says, thank you for sharing your artist heart in hardest hands with us. Your work makes me smile. Looking forward to seeing you online. And, um, cause she, she did tell me, she says, you wear your heart on your sleeves. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? 
It's so gorgeous. Yes, yeah, she is generous. Everyone was generous over there. I can't, I mean, I'm still not, you know, I haven't come down from the high uh, from that beautiful weekend. And you guys made it all so amazing. Well, there's that little closure on top. <laughs> and she also gave us templates to create uh, these things. So we have a template for birds and a template for a fish, which I intend to do. I'm going to use my scraps, uh, my watercolor scraps, and I'm going to make a whole bunch of these because I think they're pretty cool. So that's that. Let me get this out of the way. Am I missing something on the chat? I do apologize for that, guys. I'll get the swing of things. Uh, Jean, watch her make that live? What? the? Oh, are you talking about Patty's... Um, Patty's Yupo paper, yeah. Hi, Kim. Okay, so then I have more goodies. <laughs> Hi, Cynthia. Were you in Maryland? Uh, yes, I was. Um, Bacola, Lucy's, um, are you talking about my Lucy, little kiddo from England? Um, she's doing good. She's not coming this year. She's, um, her brother's expecting, well, not her brother, but her brother's wife. <laughs> um, and she's, she's moving within the house, but she's moving. So we skipped this year. Yes. I Okay. So Penny Hen made that pouch. Thank you, Zandra, for reminding me this pouch. I mean, look how much stuff I shoved in there. I love it. It is it's so professional looking and she did this um this little uh button and someone gave me this i'm not sure if it came with the whole thing but i hooked it up on here i think it's gorgeous but yeah penny that's amazing okay so i've got more of patty's rose gold because i was very stingy with it i was afraid to run out she gave me another one <laughs> Where were you in Maryland? I was at the Maryland Art Retreat in, oh gosh. What was the name? Lynch, at the Maritime Institute of, tech, Maritime something institute and graduate something. <laughs> uh, I can't remember, Lynchton Turn or something like that. Um, these are from Z. I know that because this was from a previous thing that she sent me, but because I brought my rose gold sheet with me, um, it, you know, I had it with me. Um, and amazing. Amazing. Now, I've won a couple of things, and we've gotten also some watercolors. Look, and I could have still put more in there. I mean, Patty, this is incredible. Thank you so much. Um, so I have in here, Linthicum. Okay, that's not so hard to pronounce. Linthicum, Linthicum. <laughs> so I got these um, Schminke watercolors which I can't wait to sample. I don't think I'm gonna have time to sample tonight. Maybe, we'll see. Then I have, yes, the bag is great, Ali, I agree. It's beautiful. Uh, these are M. Graham watercolors and I'm so happy because I love M. Graham's, but we can't get those here. Um, so I've got ultramarine, naphthol, red, azo or azo yellow. Hey, Lynn. Yes, love me some grandmas. You see, see, popping out. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi, Patty. Glad you made it. <laughs> Hope you had a good dinner. I'm showing off here. I'm showing all the goodies that I got at the retreat. Um, this is 
Okay, so this is gold watercolor ground, I believe. Uh, I think Kathy gave me a sample of this, or is it Zandra? See, I have such a hard time remembering. It, it was everything was happening so fast um, that I didn't write who. Mon ami me manque, Gayla. You are the French girl tonight, or what? Kathy, Kathy gave me that. Okay, now are those from you, Zandra? These are metallic watercolors. These are the pigments, right? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> These are pigments to do watercolors. I did Daniel Smith gold watercolor ground. Okay, Kathy. Thank you. Curry sells them. Yeah. Oh, Curry's really? Here in Canada. Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. Thank you, Jean, for letting me know. Like, I need more watercolor, but... <laughs> Daniel, oh yeah, I remember, I remember, Sandra. Daniel Smith pigments, like how cool is that? And now that I know how to make my watercolors, I'm going to use them. Uh, this is from Kathy as well. Hi, Barbara. Uh, this is Miniatum Ink Sizing and Granulation Medium for watercolors. So she gave me these to sample. <laughs> yes, Patty, I know how, oh, I should show you the sorry um, state of my watercolors from creamers. I, I will show them to you in a bit. Um, and these Kathy also gave me, Kathy gave me with, you know, she gave me a lot of stuff, but uh, look at this weird looking paintbrush. Isn't that cool? It's crooked. It's done on purpose. <laughs> Thank you, Pacola. Um, and this actually, hold on, everything's going to fall on my desk, I can tell. And I have liquids. Um, I tested out that triangle brush because this one is from Best, B-E-S-T-E. Hello, Zian. <laughs> There's my friend, Diane. Um and this is a triangle brush. It's It looks like, well, it says here number eight. Um, it looks like an equivalent of a medium one. So I tested it. Uh, that's what I used here. But I love it. It's very smooth. Very, very smooth. Ink sizing allows you to put metal leafing on your watercolor. Yes. I remember. Very uneven edges, which could be super fun for uh, special effects on my watercolor. And this number two round, bushy round, it says. Mm, mm, okay, bushy round it is. <laughs> um, this is from. Uh, oh, what's the name? Rachel Beth uh, Handmade Watercolors. So I got the Northwest Adventures. Awesome colors. <laughs> Pushy around, yeah. Yeah, designs by Rachel, yes. Uh, she has an Etsy store. And this is Andra gave me. Uh, it's a whole bunch of different colors. This is Autumn um, Mystery. Autumn Mystery. Uh, then I have Duo Adobe. These are all Daniel Smith, I believe. This is Duo Cactus Flower, which I already have, but you never have too many of these. And is this the uh, Rose of Ultramarine? This is the color that I've been dying to get. And I didn't. Um, I bought a different color by mistake, but that's okay. We still have this one to play with for now. And ultramarine pink. This is an M gram uh, color. Thank you so much, Zandra, for this. These are all like colors that I love. <laughs> so grateful for all of these. Um, and that's, I think, pretty much it for the goodies that I got. Uh, 
How are we doing on time? What time is it? It's 8.17. Okay, we're good. Is that all? <laughs> I know, Jean, right? <laughs> it's like, huh, not much, but, you know, I thought I would share. Oh, these. Xandra, I think, gave me those. Did you? I thought you'd given me only one. Did I pick one up by mistake? Because um, this is amazing, apparently, to do. Yes, for the foil. That's it. But I thought you'd given me only one. I have two. <laughs> and I've already sent your box, so. Oh, two. Okay. All right. Thank you, Sandra. All right. So next I'm going to show you what I got because uh, on Saturday we went out shopping. Yes, Patty stencils. They are the absolute best. Uh, Patty, I don't know if you were here, but I showed off all your the new stencils that I got from you. And definitely I'm going to try to use them. Um, I was waiting to finish this live stream or to do this live stream so that I, I wouldn't misplace them, but uh, they'll be on future artwork. Okay, I got to go get some more stuff. I'll be right back. Oh, here it is. <laughs> As I'm so lost. Ah! I'm still here. <laughs> Just moving stuff around. things around oh my gosh I feel spoiled I have to say I've never been so um, amazed at people's generosity than when I was in Maryland and I've made some great friends that I miss dearly okay so Dory and I'm sticking to it You're going to have such fun with all these new supplies. Oh, don't I know it, Lynn. Don't I know it. Okay, these are my usual watercolors. <laughs> we had tons of laughs. Yeah, and whose fault was this, Patty? By the way, if you don't know this, Patty is a great dancer. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Zandra, I'm, being, I'm not being funny. I'm being truthful. She she is a great dealer. Okay, so um, I had placed an order from the brush guys, and I had it delivered to Patty's, so she brought those with her. <laughs> Stacy wants to know, Patty, uh, that you were dancing. <clears throat> and she wasn't dancing alone. <laughs> so here's the other um, triangle brush. The, the, it's the same brand than my little one that I used previous, in a previous video. So it's the silver ruby satin. So this is the medium size. And I have to say it's, I mean, it's comparable to the one that Kathy gave me, but I do prefer Kathy's. So more expensive is not always best. Um, now this is from the new synthetic line by Raphael. Uh, it's called Soft Aqua. And this is a half inch flat. And that's a number six round. So I'm going to play with all of these in future videos. I just wanted to show you. Uh, this is a three on zero Princeton. Look how small this is. Hold on. Tiny, tiny for details. Put that here so I don't fray it. And then I have a Zero Raphael Kolinsky, which is another oof, tiny detail brush. And then I got a number six round by 
Princeton. Uh, this is their Elite line, which is uh, another synthetic brush. I uh, go into synthetic brushes because, I don't know, I feel better about this. <laughs> Although, if you ask me squirrels, really, I don't know. Squirrels here are a nuisance. Here, I know in Montreal, they're chewing on everything. But And this is a number six silver black velvet. Uh, not Kathy, but Patty, remember what I was telling you about that um, my black velvet brushes are, look at the bristle here. It's like all crooked. They still lose their, their hair, their bristles. So I don't know. Feed went meaty. Pixelated. Oh, are we back? Oh, no. I don't know. Mine too, Catherine. I thought it was my connection. You should write them, CC. I will, Patty. Is my, uh, is the camera still? I'm back. Okay, I'm back. All right. Could be a connection too. Um, means ink, and I got this Noodler's ink. Hi, Kathy. But we the connection of eyes. Oh, we Zian. Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. Help. Gonna refresh. Okay. Do I have to do anything? I'm buffering also. Gosh. I'm sorry about that, guys. Oh, I know. Hold on. I don't know if I have. Okay, hold on. Am I back? Could we, I was on the wrong, um, trying, try, go, no, I actually was on, um, I was on the wrong frequency. I'm having problems with my modem. No buffering here. Okay, am I back on? Like, is this better? Hello. <laughs> You're on. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah. I uh, I don't know what happened there, but it switched to the 2.5 gigahertz as opposed to the five. Okay. Keep going. Good. Uh, <laughs> so the ink that I bought, I can't remember which color it is. So I'm going to swatch it right now because I'm very curious. Oh yeah. It was that red, that beautiful red. Now watch me spill stuff all over the place. Um, Noodler's ink. It's like this gorgeous burgundy red. Yum. Not cool. So let's put the cap back on here. <laughs> yes, it is pretty. Very pretty. So that I got at the Queen's Ink, and I also got some Lamy cartridges. Uh, because uh, my good friend, oh shoot, where is it? Oh, here. Um, I got a beautiful pen, um, like a rose, uh, a hot pink pen by Lamy, so I got the cartridges to go with that. Seems to be better now, yes. And I think that's pretty much it that I got. At the, oh no, where is that stick? Oh, here it is. <laughs> so this is uh, Diane, tu vas aimer ça, ce bâton-là. C'est pour uh, dessiner des mandalas sur le noir. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm speaking French because my friend, my friend Diane is here, but this is for Zantangle. So this is a soap, no, a soap stone um, crayon. So it writes on black. Show you. And people use this for zentangling. So I guess they would make their lines with this and then they would paint over that or something. Cool, huh? J'en aurais besoin maintenant. Ah, je te l'apporte quand je te verrai, Diane. 
it was, <laughs> I took the last one. <laughs> Everybody was fighting for it. CC was at my art. Re oh, yeah. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Okay. Um, I got this at Kunokunia, I think. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm a little lost here. Uh, I, I don't know where or how, uh, not where and how, but when we went shopping for the rest of the stuff. So I'm just going to show you what I got. Uh, I got, I think these I got at Dick Blick. I got Perlin Green and P. Montite Genuine. Daniel Smith. So two new colors. I know I said I wasn't going to buy any, but hmm, I did. Um, I got these. Uh, this I'd ordered online, but I had it shipped to Kathy because um, I want to do more binding. So I want to do another journal. That's uninteresting. And then I restocked. <laughs> That's what I keep calling it. Um, so I got this fluid watercolor paper. This one is hot press and I like the size of it and it is sealed on these two sides only, but I like the size of it and, um, I like fluid paper. I had a journal that had fluid paper, so I decided to get that. And I think, didn't I get this in New York? Xandra, I think I bought this with you when we went to, um, that store, Da Vinci in New York City, I think. I'm pretty sure. The paper, really nice and painted on it. Yeah, Da Vinci, yes, that's it. Um, I got this Yupo, trans, translucent Yupo. Uh, I don't want to touch it too much, but eh. you can see a little bit through it. You can see my... The reflection of my finger. So I'm going to practice some more painting with watercolor. Uh, this is a restock. My I'm nearing the end of my sketchbook, so I decided to buy Moleskin because they're cheaper in the States. Stacy, I think you're right. Maybe this block will be better for you. Yeah. You know what? I like to try different papers because you never know when you discover a gem, like the B paper that uh, Jan um, shared with me. That I was floored. I was really uh, surprised. And um, this one here, which I use uh, for my patrons this week. Do you know they make a black paper moleskin? Really, Jennifer? I didn't know that. Um, this stuff is amazing. So this is Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press. So they're watercolor uh, and it's 100% cotton. And I'll show you what I did with that. I painted this guy with that paper and I absolutely love how the watercolor responded to the paper. My camera won't focus. Oh, and I just drew it, so B1. <laughs> but that I did on this Stonehenge paper, and I love it. I was out of Arches Rough Grain paper. I bought a smaller size because it's really expensive, but I do love the Rough Grain. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Uh, I got that paper to a Dig Blick. Patty, which one? This one? The, the Aqua... Uh, cold press. It's amazing. If that's the paper you're talking about, it's awesome. You're going to like it. So this is um, restock as well. Uh, I was out of grid paper. So that's all again, restock. I believe it or not was out of my regular Kansan paper. So that's also restock. Why do you like it? Rough grain paper. I love it because I think it's an interesting texture and I love the way it soaks up the, the paint. I really, really do. It's, it's quite something to witness. Um, this I got here and I brought it with me to try and I didn't. Uh, this was, this is not very expensive either. So I wanted to see how it would fare, but some other day. And then I bought grid paper and that's um, Xander's fault. <laughs> 
it's not red paper, it's dotted paper, but uh, she was thinking of using it when she makes her mermaids and stuff because it's got a dotted grid. Um, <laughs> blame me. Yes, I'm blaming. Blame Zandra. Yes, of course. <laughs> it's all Zandra's fault. <laughs> um yeah, so I figured I could also use this to practice faces because I'm back into drawing faces. I'm going to show you that in a bit. I like it rough too. Okay. Oh, <laughs> CC, you rock flowers videos were great. Even though I am an acrylic painter, you made me want to test myself with watercolors. Just wanted you to know. Oh, oh, that's cool. That's cool, Riza. Um, they're fun, right? They're really fun. So I bought two sizes and these notebooks, because I've had them before. So it's another restock in a sense. <laughs> um, they don't stay within the book. Like, see, they pull apart. So it's perfect for sketching, I find. Like sketching and using it, you know, on another piece. Um, <laughs> too sorry. Then I got these two round papers. These are handmade paper. And these I got in um, in Baltimore. We went to this artist. Uh, was it American artist? Oh, Jean, that's a great idea. It's a great idea for Zantangling. Diane. Sorry, I'm going to speak French for a little bit. Tu vois-tu le papier? OK. On voit pas les carreaux, mais c'est juste des petits points. Ça serait bon pour, les, pour tes ententes, ça. Um, yes. And then in New York City, we also went to this amazing Japanese store. I could have stayed there all day, but we didn't have much time. Um, it's called Kinokuniya. Yes, Patty. You should have bought the round paper. And if I had known, I would have picked up a few. Um, où trouver Diane? Je t'expliquerai te, ça. Uh, J'en ai vu chez Dessert. So, let me test that out because I haven't yet. Uh, they had these things. These are stamps with your name in Japanese. So, this is kanji which is one of the writing system in Japan. No, I don't read kanji. I read Korean, but not Japanese. Working. I'll put a piece of paper underneath. But anyways, you guys, it's supposed to be my name <laughs> written in Japanese. Whoops. Yeah, I can't. Sandra got hers to, to, to work. I don't know how you did it, but mine is messed up. But... Yeah. All right. Moving on. <laughs> oh. uh, I got these also. Try a mouse pad. Oh, that's too clever. I shall. I've got a mouse pad right here. I was going to go dish my, my fun phone, but I didn't want to get up. Nope. Mine's effective, I guess. And there's no button to button to push. And I know this ink pad works, so. Nope. Well, that was a waste of money. $10. <laughs> US, that's like $100 Canadian. Uh, and then I got these Kuretake brush. Uh, paint pens, and I know Sandra and I were looking for the white one. Apparently, they came up with the white one, and it's supposed to be super opaque. So I'll be on the lookout for that you know, to wind it up or something. <laughs> Jean, there's no wound up or anything. It's just one solid block of wood. There's nothing. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's It's no big deal. Okay, so I just wanted to show you now the uh the creamer stuff so at creamer we made our own watercolors and they were all beautiful and everything and they were all shimmery and mine leaked <laughs> Uh, 
uh, were very, very liquidy. Yes, Jean. <clears throat> yeah. So I have a river of a color, an unidentified color. <laughs> That's the black with the gold that I made here, and it's very sticky still. So I must have used a heck of a lot of medium. Buffering again. Is it just you, Betty, or is anybody having problems? You cleaned up, brought lots of stuff. Badly buffering again. Oh, no. Okay, let me check my connection again. No, I'm on the good frequency, so I don't know. <sighs> Keep going. No buffering. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm not sure how to swatch this because these three, they all look the same color now because they bled into each other really, really bad. Uh, but this sun gold is pretty gorgeous. I know there's a purple underneath there. So this uh, kind of rose gold must have gone into this on top. Anyways, um, yeah, that's okay. I'm still happy with it because it was an amazing experience. The teacher was so much fun. Oh, Kathy, you're having bad storms? We had a wicked storm last night. I thought that my barbecue was going to fly off the, the, uh, the balcony. Um, so I have the uh, watercolor medium. a local store here but now that I know how to make my watercolors hmm um I'll be using that so well, the pigments I bought was uh, Patty's <laughs> Patty's favorite Pacific Lagoon I can't wait to play with this it's got this this beautiful And then I got the sun gold, which is this. Oops, I just put my finger in it. It's still, mine is still like mushy a bit and I've let it air dry for a week now. Yes, it's glitter. Uh, magic gold, sun gold. And then I have the cougar red. So, I got this, and then I also bought a pan of that uh, greenish, bluish. I'm looking for the perfect mint green, and I can't find it, or I have to mix it myself. Uh, let me swatch all these. I'm so disorganized, guys. I'm so sorry. These paints you made and the new pigments. Yeah, I wish... Um, you know what? It, probably eventually I'll be able to um, that, to to have that you know the original colors again. I'm gonna spray them just so that you can see because they're quite they're quite amazing. I'm afraid to spray in the middle. <laughs> this thing is gonna go whoop. But hey, live dangerously, right? No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> You will fix it. Yes, the paints, I mean, they were amazing. I just love the experience. First, let me swatch this. So this one is, I forget what it's called. Oh, here. Uh, halogen green, not halogen, halogen green. So the reason why I bought it is when you dilute it, it turns into this beautiful minty green, almost like a viridian green, I want to say. Very pretty. And let's see if I can <laughs> decipher these. Have you ever made your own paints before? I have. I have made fluorescent paints from my Sennelier pigments, but I have, whoops, I have other Sennelier pigments as well. But these, the ones that I bought are all like shimmery, reflective, you know, iridescent kind of thing. So they're different. That's my excuse. <laughs> okay, so I have purple here. I think it's underneath. So I might be able to get to it. I'm just gonna, oh, wow. Yeah. 
I mean, if there's a little bit of gold on top, I really don't mind because it creates this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Um, of course, it's not dry, but once it's dry, you'll be able to see. Oh, hey, Xanadu. How are you? This is some kind of gold. Oh, this is the rose gold that I think Xandra was playing with. Because I remember she was trying to get... That is one Patty made. The purple one? Yeah. Z, this is yours though, right? And this one, I'm not sure. I, the name is on the other side. When I put it in the pan, I kind of like did not pay attention to which side the writing was on. I think this is another kind of like rose gold or something. I like this one. I like this one. It's close to Patty's, but we all know Patty's the rose gold queen. Now this one, oof. Uh, there's a lot of that pigment on you know next to this that got into the sun gold but cc i think it would be better to have your camera more focused just a bit uh i don't know how to do that <laughs> okay so this i'll figure it out for the next um stream guys oh okay this i don't know if you can see hold on you see this the reflection, this is amazing. This is like glitter. So this is the sun gold. And I do believe it got mixed up with the one next to it. Because I'm trying to grab at it. Oh, here. There's more gold here. So I think the neighbor went visiting and stayed there for a bit. <laughs> and <laughs> kind of dried there. See it? <laughs> it's pretty indeed. Uh, this one is that blue. Mine is very like, I think I, I don't know why, but the pigment is like very heavy on top. Uh, this one I'm going to swatch to on black. Hold on. There. So I'm going to swatch on the white here because I know this has a lot of reflective blue. I can't remember what the name of this was. Oh, I'm clear? Jean, I'm clear. Okay, good. So it's not me. Okay. Yeah, because I have, uh, I mean, my camera is pretty recent. Yes, Carol, they're superb. Okay, look at this. <laughs> I saw Zandra swatch this the other night and I went, Oh, goodness. I can't wait to swatch it. I haven't touched these since I've been back, guys. It was the first time I'm swatching them. Look at that. Do you, do you remember, Zandra, what this or Patty, what this one is called? Yeah, it's definitely an interference color, I want to say. Stunning. Um, okay. This... I think this is the pole white with glitter or the polar white one. Magic blue, Patty. Yes, yes, that's magic blue. Uh, this is not showing on the white. I should have swatched them all on on the white on the black, because on the white, fluorescent white with glitter. Yes, fluorescent white with glitter. Oh. <laughs> yes fluorescent white with glitter I remember that this is going to be cool to layer over another color oh Laura thank you um, and this is polar white I believe or something like that this one is a oh, polar silver look at that ugh I mean, it shines so much, it's flashing out. <laughs> ah. Yeah, on white, there's, you know, there's no point in me swatching that. Polar silver, yes, that's what it is. Uh, this color, <laughs> I know I had that red, that lava red. 
So it's probably this one. Or is it copper? I'm not sure. Oops. Yeah, I don't think that's the lava red. I think the lava red is the next one. But let me see what it looks like here on. Oh, <laughs> hello. Gosh, look at this. Yes, Catherine. Yes, dots. Absolutely. <gasps> I should do a uh, rock flowers on black. Okay, next color. I think this is lava red. Yeah, that is like straight up lava red, I believe. <laughs> do you remember the brand name of the pigments you made the paints with? They're all Kramer. They're all Kramer pigments. You mean these ones? These are all Kramers. We we uh, Kramers. We went there uh, to learn how to do the watercolors. And I will show you here the box. They do have a store online. Oops. That's the company. It's a German company, but they have they also have a store in New York City. Yes, they are fab. Uh, Patty, I think the next one might be that lava red with your gold. Because it looks paler than the other ones. It looks more yellowish. Yeah, I think this is the one. So that's lava red and gold, I think. Does that look like it, Patty? And uh, you know, it's funny because on white, they all look the same, or it could be because my colors were all mixed up, but you can tell this has more red. Uh, this is that gold there, um, was it not Arabian gold, but a very, very like gold, gold. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they do something to me, guys. <laughs> I'm not faking the oohs and ahs, okay? Uh, color, color. <laughs> So that's what it looks like on white. I mean, it's still nice, but what's the reddish one on top? Oh, you mean, no, this is, this is more like purple. Didn't you use uh, manganese violet or something? This is this right here. Mind you, um, mine got mixed so much <laughs> that I, I, you know, who knows what's under there? Uh, oh, yeah, that blue. Blue with glitter. I think it's blue and gold. Patty, didn't you mix this? It's got, oh, yeah, it's got that green. Keep it down. CC, your neighbors will think you have a new boyfriend. <laughs> new boyfriend? <laughs> oh, boy. Nah, my place is fully insulated. <laughs> they can't hear a peep. <laughs> I made sure of that. Okay, so this one, we're going to have to wait and see until it's um, dry because this is the color that Patty makes. I think there's blue. Oh, micro phthalo blue with chrome green. Yes, and I see it. I mean, I see the green. I think you can see it a little bit. But that color is amazing. Art is noisy? Hmm. Well, it is in my case. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me swatch this on white. Ugh. Gosh. You know, Patty, it would be interesting to see that mix on your uh, UPOL paper uh, abstract pieces. Because I kind of have a feeling they would separate eventually. Yeah, they, on screen it looks like super blue, but I can see the turquoise colors. Uh... This one is, I think, something I mixed together, and I can't remember what it is. I've written it down. Eventually, I'll do a chart, and I'll, I'll you know, show you guys. But uh, they may separate on your arches rough as well. That could be true. <gasps> Patty, I can't wait to uh, for you to swatch these on Upo. So this is, I think, it was leftover 
Oh, I know what it is. So I, I made this. I mixed the black and gold in here, and then I added a little bit of silver and purple to the mix, and that's what it gave me. Of course, on black, it's not so noticeable. I wanted to have a purple gray, kind of like moon glow, a, like a Daniel Smith moon glow, but darker because I do like to shade with that color. That looks weird on camera here, but... Gigi's Moongla. Yeah. Um, and this, I <laughs> I mean, I kid you not, all of medium rose on top. So I'm not sure that I'm picking up any pigment. So I'll see. So this is the black. <clears throat> it's supposed to have reflect of gold. I know that uh, when Xandra, you swatched it and I saw more gold on yours. So I don't know what happened to mine. Yes, Jennifer, uh, we took a class at uh, Kramer Pigments. Uh, the girl showed us how to uh, mold the uh, pigments with the medium. And so it was an awesome class and I'm very happy. Oh, I also got this. I can't really swatch those for you yet, but um, I picked this up from Patty's. Um, April, she has a, an Etsy store, but she sells those uh, Renaissance watercolors. I'm going to show you how what they come in as. Um, I'm going to do a full review of these. I haven't unwrapped the pans uh, just because I can't do the video right now because she needs to restock. But this is the set of 24. And w once I uh, do the review on this, um, I'll make sure to you know, put all the links that you need, but yeah, these are Polish maids. Yeah. Yeah. Polish made paints. Absolutely. So, and also Xanadu, um, has her own, um, handmade watercolors. Xanadu, you want to share your, uh, maybe your website or something? I know I've shared it in a previous video, but she does beautiful handmade watercolors as well. Teresa. Hi. So glad you can make it. I'm almost done. <laughs> so bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I have a friend of mine who is um, who's streaming as well tonight. So I'm full. Oh, I haven't swatched the middle. <laughs> I haven't swatched the middle. Hold on. Let me see what I have in the middle here because I might have invented... Um, I might have invented a new color. <laughs> so I've got some gold and some all kinds of colors in here. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. This is an orange gold I created, <laughs> That color that leaked. So this is a result of all of these colors. <laughs> I know, right? Orange gold. Isn't that amazing? I mean, look at it. Okay, let me swatch on white. <laughs> uh, see, I knew I would love it. I knew it. <laughs> so let me pick up a little bit of this and this end. <laughs> uh. Wow. I mean, on the black paper, it looks so orangey. Huh. Shiny mud. <laughs> uh, oh, bye, Betty. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> A happy accident, indeed. Isn't that amazing, though? <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> so that was a lot of excitement for one night. <laughs> Bronzy, yeah, but on black, it really looks orangey. Uh, you know, the camera's not picking it up, like, properly right now, but hang on. I'm going to try and tilt it so that you can see the same color I see. It's very difficult, but it's, like, it, truly, it's an orange, uh, like, shimmery orange. That's what it is. It's the new Quinn Gold. <laughs> Uh, oh, see, look, Patty. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is the um, 
the blue green that Patty makes. Oh, come on. Guys, I'm going to get the hang of this. You see the green and the blue on here? It looks very different on white, I have to say. I don't see a lot of the green on white, but you can see it a lot on the black. Yeah, absolutely. For your mermaid tails, yes, definitely. That's gorgeous. And I see this also on your mermaid tail. Um, that's the, um, what's it called again, Patty? Magic blue or, ah, uh, bad memory. Sea green. Yeah. They are beautiful colors, huh, Teresa? Oh, I wish you guys had come with us. It was such a blast. It was so much fun to create our own colors. I'd love to, I'd love to live in New York just for that, but I wouldn't want to live in New York. No, no, no. Scratch that. Too noisy. Whoops. Sorry, guys. And that's pretty much it. That's it, guys. I don't think I'm going to stay on too long. You're probably all tapped out with my oohs and ahs over the colors, but what a fantastic time. I mean, seriously. Yes, and the dinner was great, and the dancing memorable <laughs> thank you Jean. maybe every other week or so oh thanks kathy great for a pacific lagoon i uh it wasn't pacific lagoon this teresa if you're referring to this color here it was another one and of course, I forget the name. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Pacola. Ah, I was nervous. I couldn't eat before. I couldn't even drink my tea. It's cold now. But you guys are a good bunch, so I should have known. I should have known that it was going to be fun. Uh, next stream that I do will probably be some type of art. I'm not going to do show and tell. Uh, you know, that's not... That's not usually my thing. Uh, all right. Good night, Lori. Thank you so much for coming. Angela. Oh, my gosh. Like, now I see the names. <laughs> Lori. Gala. Bye. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. Thank you, Zandra, for uh, moderating and for holding my hand. <laughs> I'm glad, Patty, you got to join us. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much. Bye, Diane. Hmm. All right. I'll see you guys later. Um, this will probably be recorded on, um, well, it is recorded, I'm assuming. Does it get recorded automatically? I think so, right? Yeah. Anyway, so the recording will be on there. But I'll be back with another um, art in the morning video-ish kind of thing on Thursday. So that's it. All right, it uploads automatically. Great. Okay. All right, good night, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you soon. Oh, I'll see, see you soon. <laughs> Bye.